Hello and welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. With me is head volleyball coach Josh Flower. So let's start with how did you get involved in volleyball? Yeah, well, um, to get involved with college volleyball, you have to uh, major in chemistry, play college football, and then all of a sudden, poof, you're a volleyball coach. So, no, I've been involved with volleyball for a long time. Uh, I ran the men's club team when I was in college, started coaching um, the high school ranks after college, and then uh, got some opportunities to uh, move into the college ranks and spent the last 10 years in the SEC, so here we are. So why did you decide to become a coach? Um, I think I love sports. I think I love what it teaches. Uh, I love the team aspect. Um, you know, I played three sports when I was young. Um, and I think it's just an opportunity for, you know, me to give back a little bit. I think that some of the most influential people in my life were, were my coaches. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to spend your time, you know, especially after graduation for me. Uh, it was a great way for me to get plugged in with new people um, once college was over and you know it's it's become uh, a passion and, and something that I love to do. Um, and how did you hear about the head coaching job here at Troy? Yeah sure so it was uh, 2016 season wrapped up um, you know obviously the position came open and um, this is a part of the country that my wife and I really enjoy and uh, you know I had spent the last nine years as an assistant coach um, you know, at Alabama and at Georgia. And so, you know, the opportunity to stay in the region uh, that I like and the opportunity to uh, take on the challenges of being a head coach again uh, was something that I was excited and ready for. Um, so why did you decide to take the job? Yeah, I think that um, moving closer to the beach was probably a big reason. Uh, no, I, I think we saw the, the potential here. And I think that, you know, we really we love the people in this area. You know, we had spent three years uh, in the state of Alabama previously to our, our time in Athens, and um, you know, the opportunity to come back and, and build something new. And um, we felt like, uh, as I met with um, Sandy Atkins and Jeremy McLean, you know, I felt like this was going to be a really good fit. The things that the program needed, I felt I was passionate about, and so um, here we are. And, and uh, I, I think we made a good choice. Um, so you're in your first season. What was it like getting to know the players when you first got here? Yeah, we were really lucky. Um, the players, I think, were hungry for a little bit of a change. And I think that we brought a new, um, we brought a new focus and a level of excitement and expectation that they were really uh, looking forward to. Um, and I think that once they, they saw that we were invested in them, uh, as much as we were demanding out of them, that uh, the buy-in was pretty quick. So um, it's been really good. We have some really unique players. Um, they're good people. They work hard. Uh, we have some that are absolutely killing it in the classroom. So uh, that's another thing about volleyball. You know, we have really, really great student athletes. So um, it's a fun. It's a fun group to be around. Um, so how's the season going for y'all so far? Yeah, this, this season, um, we've had a great uh, last three matches. You know, we won our last three in a row. And the, uh, you know, last night against UAB was, you know, probably our best win of the season so far. Um, but this season is all about us, you know, really uh, learning how to focus on our priorities and learning how to attack a season uh, in a consistent manner. And I think the girls have been doing a great job of that. And, you know, we tell them all the time that we're most concerned about how they play. You know, that the results will come out of that good process. And so far, uh, I feel like every week we have been getting better. Um, and if we get a little bit better each day and a little bit better each week, then, you know, we're going we're gonna to look at this season as, as pretty successful. So what are some of the things you guys have to improve on moving forward in this season? Yeah, I think that our Achilles heel uh, so far has been just our consistency. Um, when we're good, we're really good. Uh, but when we're not so good, we, we tend to let teams um, be involved in the match a little bit more than, than we would like. Um, and we get away from our game plan a little bit. And so with a young team, um, that's to be expected, but we're growing each week. And uh, we made really big strides this past weekend and, and on Tuesday night. So uh, I'm excited about the direction we're going. Um, you know, I think that the, the two biggest things is that we want to we want to just be a little bit more efficient. We want to make teams beat us and not beat ourselves. Um, now you did start the season 0 and 5. So what was your message to the team during that time? 
Yeah, you know, we came out of that first that first five matches, um, and and actually we should probably back up the first weekend, the first four matches. We came out of that, and we actually had outscored all of our opponents. So we were zero and four, but we had outscored all of our opponents. So our message at that point was, hey, let's tighten up our ship, and you know, let's let our focus be making teams beat us, you know, not necessarily beating ourselves. And I think they really took that to heart. We learned a tough lesson last Friday night. Um, I think that snuck up on us again. Um, but they really flipped the switch starting uh, with our Winthrop match. And, um, you know, I have been taking that a lot more serious. And, uh, and I think they know and can feel it now better. So that's been a, a huge um, potential for growth there. And, uh, you know, l like I said, we're, we're really focused on how we're playing. And we think that if we play the way we're capable of, then good things will happen. Um, and I think all the girls felt like we could play a little bit better than we did the first weekend. And so their effort back in the gym to get better was really good. And, and I think we're seeing a little bit of the result of that. Um, now, people say there's always a positive in everything. So what are some positives you've taken away from the games you've lost? Well, I, I think that one of the biggest things is that we're scoring a lot of points. You know, offensively, we are um, producing the number of kills that we would like. Um, some of the other highlights are our passing group, you know, Bethany Kalitti and Sarah Grace Wilson and Cheyenne Hayes and Belle Waldrop. Um, you know, that group has been passing at a really high level. And that's really helped us to um, work on our offensive consistency because that's an area that's showing up every day. I also think that we're one of the tougher serving teams. And so, you know, we're getting a lot of opportunities where other teams are out of system. Now, uh, when the game gets away from us from the service line, a little too many errors, it makes it a little tougher, but all in all, uh, our service game has been, has been really strong. And so those are two things that we talk a lot about. And the last thing I would say is that, you know, we wanna be a, a really, really good first ball side out team. You know, we wanna be aggressive in our swings. We wanna make teams um, play on edge. And I think that so far, you know, when we've been able to do that, we've, we've seen success. Um, now on Saturday, you got your first win mm -hmm. against Winthrop, and it was in Trojan Arena. Mm -hmm. So what was it like to get that first win in front of the home crowd? Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, um, our crowds have been uh, getting bigger and more excited each, each match that we go out, that we've been home. And so, you know, that's fun to see. And we know everybody loves a winner. Uh, and, you know, we understand that and uh, we want to make sure that we're out there representing the university the right way. But it's always it's always fun uh, to get that win at home. You know, I think that the fans support us and, you know, our players work really hard. And so to be able to get that win in front of their family and their friends um, felt pretty good. And then last night you had a thrilling three to two victory over UAB. Can you kind of talk about that game a little bit? Yeah, it was. Uh, Everybody got their money's worth last night, you know, 15-12 uh, in the fifth set. Um, but I was really proud of the way our team played. You know, we were, we battled some ups and downs throughout the match, but um, we really dialed in the last two sets uh, and executed well. Our middles um, in set four and five were, were really, really good. You know, our passing was solid all the way throughout. They never wavered. And so it was, uh, it was fun last night in Trojan Arena. And I hope that, uh, you know, we can continue to have that type of excitement uh, week in and week out. Um, now this weekend, you guys traveled to the Moorhead State Comfort Invitational. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do to prepare for those teams that you're going to face there? Yeah, I think that um, we're looking forward to getting back in the gym today for practice. Um, it's been a few days where we could really practice and work out some kinks because we've played a lot of matches over the last week. And so, you know, we want to get in there and, and improve our coverage and, um, you know, continue to work out a couple things that we need to, uh, to settle in on on defense. So today is going to give us the opportunity to do that, and then we turn right around. It's a long bus trip, but I think that these are three teams that uh, are going to continue to push us to be more consistent and um, challenge our team to stay focused. And, uh, and that's a good thing. We need that before we go into the conference season. Uh, we also need to prepare ourselves to play long road matches. Um, we're on the road for the next eight matches, the last two of which are the opening of the conference season. So this is an important weekend for us uh, from that aspect, for sure. Okay, and now moving away from volleyball mm -hmm. onto you personally, what was it like adjusting to moving to Troy? 
Well, I grew up small town, you know, and so it was, uh, the adjustment wasn't too bad, you know? I mean, I think that my wife and I, like I said, we had lived in Alabama before, and so, you know, we we're very comfortable with the Southern hospitality and the charm that, that Troy brings. Um, you know, we had to find out some of the best places to eat, you know, we had to check out, uh, you know, sips and, uh, and I guess it's Sophie's now downtown, you know, a little pizza and ice cream never hurt uh, the soul on a, on a hot summer's day. So uh, it's been a good transition. We've, we've been enjoying it a lot. Um, now, you just mentioned food. Mm -hmm. I love food, especially fried food. The South is known for fried food. Yeah. What is your favorite fried food? Favorite fried food? Um, you know, it's, it's fried chicken Wednesday in the calf. And That's I, a it, good one. It's a big deal. And I think we all get pretty excited about that. I know our, our team gets excited about it. So uh, I'm not afraid that I love a little fried chicken and sweet tea. Um, Got to be careful as my metabolism slows down. But uh, yeah, I, I would say that. Yeah, and you know it's good when the line is out the door. 100%. Got to get there early. Yes. So one last question. Mm -hmm. um, me and a lot of people in Trojan Vision have been wondering, are you related to Matt Lauer? Um, my brother is Matt Lauer. Um, not that Matt Lauer, but I do have a brother named Matt Lauer. Uh, he's a little shorter and lives in Indianapolis. Uh, but, you know, I think that the appropriate question to really ask the Matt Lauer is whether or not he's related to me. And so maybe the next time we see him and we can get him on Trojan Vision, we'll have to, we'll have to ask that question. Definitely. Well, thank you for joining us Thanks, today. Sir. Stay tuned for a preview of what's coming up in Trojan Athletics.